Greetings. After I popped my MVP compressor the other day, I decided to go shopping for some new ones. And I found these Brookstone ones on eBay. £5.25 each, a bargain. eBay listing reckons they go up to 250 psi. The box is a bit more conservative. The box reckons it'll measure up to 250 psi. So, can it go up to 250 psi? Let's find out. This bin will hold 85 litres of water, or today 84 litres of water, plus a house brick to hold the bottle down. The compressor is hooked up to my Manson EP850 power supply. First up is the half litre Brecon Carreg. Let's see how much sparkle we can put into this sparkling water bottle. Well, that was a bit shit. Let's see what's happened with it. That bottle's still at nearly 180 psi. I think I'll give that a chance to depressurize first. Here's the compressor. It's cooled down. Let's crack it open. That's what's gone wrong. The cog is sheared clean off. Now this compressor doesn't look as well built as the MVP. These screws aren't set level. This one's not been done up quite so tight. You can see it's slightly offset. I don't know whether or not the compressor has failed. Let's find out. It's cheap and nasty, but it appears to still be intact. That old ring has seen better days. And in fact, with the piston fitted, I can actually blow through the piston. So that's no longer sealing correctly.
comparing with the MVP one, you can see the MVP was a lot more substantial. The motor is slightly bigger. The output cog is the same, but then you get a much more substantial plastic cog and flywheel. Then again, what do you expect for £5.25? Probably worth that for the motor and the pressure gauge. Well, I've still got this rather distended and dangerous looking Breck and Carrick bottle to deal with. I don't take the top off, I can't just leave it as it is. But I think I've found a means of getting it open involving that wire and that welder. Here we go, nice and safe. 